All right, so today I want to talk about how Realtek audio drivers have been getting worse and they're terrible on brand new PCs running on Windows 10 and 11. And to illustrate this, I just want to show off how things were back in the day. So this is my old computer and it's actually not that old, but it's a Ryzen 7 2700X. Uh, and this was built around 2017, 2018. And it's got an X370 motherboard chipset. And this was the only um, chipset that kind of unofficially supported Windows 7 pretty well. So this is Windows 7. And Realtek audio drivers on Windows 7 are super solid. And this was before they handed it off a bunch of functionality to companion apps that come from the Windows Store, like Realtek Audio Console and Nahemic Audio, which I'll cover later in this video on newer PCs. So if we go to Control Panel here in Windows 7, uh, we have this nice Realtek HD Audio Manager um, as part of the Realtek drivers for Windows 7 and previous builds and older PCs. You have this really nice Control Panel where you can do all sorts of stuff. So like I can set up, um, you know, if I want to have disable front panel jack detection which helps me uh, play my speakers sound through my speakers and my headset at the same time and then you've got your different sound effects here you've got your equalizer settings um, I love to play on the live preset because I think that sounds great and then you've got this loudness equalization which is I love loudness equalization takes loud sounds and kind of compresses it to make everything sound good so that, you know, games like PUBG where the sounds are too loud from the gunshots and they've never decided to fix it with their audio engineers, uh, you can fix it so that it doesn't break your ears and make you go deaf. So I have loudness equalization enabled and I'm playing on the live equalizer. So I've got these nice settings under the sound effects and I've got all sorts of other options here. And this control panel is so simple and it has everything I want. It has the equalizer and you can even see it yourself and modify it here. And I mean, everything's easy and you've got your uh, speakers, your mic, your stereo mix, your options all right there, your disable front panel jack detections so that you can play things uh, simultaneously. I mean, this is nice. This is a fully fledged and fully functional uh, control panel for your sound. And it's Realtek HD Audio Manager and it's gone in, in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So, I mean, it's just terrible. Like, I have to customize my sound so much in Windows 10 and 11 to get it to sound like what I can do here um, in the Realtek HD Audio Manager app, uh, and it's just annoying. All right, so today we're going to talk about the state of Realtek audio drivers and how bad they are on modern PCs. So first of all, I'm going to show you kind of what I ran on my old PC, which is a Ryzen 2700X on the X370 motherboard chipset. And this was released back in around 2017, 2018. So thankfully, I was able to run some of Realtek's older drivers. And so what I would do is I would run 282, which was the full driver back then from 2017. And it worked fine on Windows 10. And it was better than what I could get with my motherboard drivers because they'd recommend these newer drivers. And while those drivers worked, sound just sounded terrible. And they offset all of their functionality into the Realtek Audio Console app that you get from the Windows Store, along with other solutions like Nahemic, which are garbage. And I'll show you why. So for one thing, on my old PC, we're on my old PC right now, I can go into sounds and I can go to playback and there's my Realtek high definition built-in audio, right? And I can go to properties and guess what? I have these great little tabs here like enhancements. This enhancements tab doesn't show up with the drivers that you get from your motherboard manufacturer because they've offloaded all these enhancements to third-party applications. And guess what? Those third-party applications are garbage and completely broken. And here's why. They don't, their equalizer doesn't work. They don't even have one. And they don't have this loudness equalization, which is very good for gaming. So on my old PC, I can go into my sound properties from my Realtek High Definition Audio, and there the, those settings are. There, there's an Enhancements tab, and I can enable the equalizer, and I can choose my favorite setting, which is Live, and then I can also do Loudness Equalization, which uh, brings down louder sounds so I don't go deaf playing games like PUBG, who are, which are too loud, which I don't know why they won't fix, but regardless, I can use Loudness Equalization to make the gunshots not sound so loud. So 
I've got these fabulous settings in the control panel here for my sound and Windows 10 running these two R282 Realtek drivers, the last ones they released officially before they offset it and just set on their versions to the ma motherboard manufacturers that are broken and then made you install these extra apps from the Windows Store to control some of this functionality that they used to provide. But the functionality is not the same. It's, it's not the same. It's completely different. So to illustrate this, I'm going to go ahead and run PUBG on my old computer and we're going to see how good the sound is. Okay, so here we have it. This is my new PC. I built a Ryzen 7 7700X machine with an X670E PG Lightning with ASRock. And they include this audio app called Nehemic with the Realtek audio drivers. So anyways, now in Windows 10, if you go to Sounds and then you go to Playback and you find your Realtek device, if you click on Properties, guess what? There's no enhancements tab anymore, so I can't enable loudness equalization or use an equalizer that was previously available on older drivers for older PCs. So I've lost all these controls that I used to have that I used to use for Realtek Audio. So apparently now they've moved somewhere else and they give you two apps. They give you the Realtek Audio Console, which downloads from the Windows Store and shows up as an app from the Windows Store. Okay, and you can tell here that I have literally no options here other than to just configure whether it's stereo or something else and to test it, which is really sad because I have nothing. And then I have some microphone settings, stereo mix settings, and then there's advanced settings where you can do a couple of things, but it's still not like how the old control panel was that Realtek provided, and it really lets me do nothing. So then they have this companion app called Nehemic, from Steel Series, and apparently this is where loudness equalization is now done and also you get an equalizer. So you have these different modes of audio that you can set. So we can go into this gaming mode where they try to turn surround sound on, which isn't going to work because I use 2.1 speakers or my headset, which is just stereo, which is 2.0 channel. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And then they've got this volume stabilizer thing, which is, I think, what they're trying to call loudness equalization, which I love loudness equalization, so I want to use it. But you'll see here when I turn it on, they've got two different modes. They've got this night mode and this nighttime mode, and I'm going to leave it off. You'll see here later that it doesn't sound very good with it. And so they've adjusted some of the audio settings to be louder. So they've increased the bass, they've increased the treble, they've increased the voices. And this is supposed to make your game sound great, right? So, I mean, it's great. It looks like I have loudness equalization through volume stabilizer. And then I've got an equalizer where I can, you know, kind of set um, what I had before. And I think what I had before was something like some kind of pattern like this. Where it goes back down, blah, blah, blah. So this was what I used to play with kind of. And I mean, that sounds okay, but I mean, you'll see the problem when we launch PUBG, you won't be able to like pinpoint anything sound wise in terms of like, if you're getting shot in the back to whip around. So anyways, that's kind of how I set it up through Nehemic. So you would think that this Nehemic app works great, right? Well, that's what I thought too, but the mistake is, is I no longer have the easy enhancements tab and the sound settings that I used to have. And it's been offloaded into this, what they consider a premium app. And it's not premium, it's trash. Like, it's just 
it's just garbage. And I've got no enhancements tab to turn on the old um, loudness equalization and then also just have an equal, easy equalizer. So I have to use this stupid app that comes from the Windows Store, which is garbage. It's free because uh, it comes included with my motherboard, but still, it's not very good. And I'll show you why. So let's go ahead and do the tests. Okay, so as you can see, that didn't work too well. Didn't sound very good in PUBG. I couldn't tell where the shots were coming from. I'm turning around. I can't tell directions of things. It just doesn't sound the same as my old computer. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to fix this mess. Um, there's some hacks you can do to get this to work okay. So I've been able to get my sound sounding okay, even on these new drivers, despite these horrible, horrendous apps like Nehemic. So let's just go ahead and turn all this crap off and close this garbage app. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some fancy craziness. I was running, I was playing Lady Gaga's Poker Face to test my audio as well, uh, which I just closed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get the loud, uh, the enhancements tab back and have Microsoft loudness equalization become available. And I turned off Nehemic, so I'm gonna do this. There's a Reddit thread, uh, enable enhancements, enhancements, audio, Eek sound loudness loudness equalization okay uh registry mm -mm 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 -mm. okay so this is how you get this enhancements tab back is you go ahead and follow these instructions provided by this user from three years ago. So what you need to do is you need to re launch regedit and you need to go into this key they're talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into there. All right, so then we go into the render folder and then here we have all of our audio devices that are set up in Windows in these subfolders with these GUIDs. And so what you need to do is you need to find the one that says Realtek Audio where it has the description there. So high, high definition audio device is not it. You want to find the one that shows up in sounds here and then in playback. And you can see the name is Realtek R Audio. So you want to find that string in one of these folders and that's the one you're going to want to modify. So this one's AMD high definition. That's not it. This one is AMD high definition. That's not it. The same thing, AMD. This one's NVIDIA. This one's NVIDIA. This one's high definition audio device. This one is AMD. This one is NVIDIA high definition. This one is high definition audio device. Some found it, same thing. Not it, not it, not it, not it, not it. That's the one because it matches real tech audio. And I believe this one won't be anything of value. Nope, so this is one we need to modify. So I found this entry and then we need to go into the FX properties key. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow these directions. So I'm gonna add these new string keys. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this new string value and I'm gonna name it what he said. And then I'm gonna put the value in there so I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna paste that value in and I'm gonna repeat those steps for the three that we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new string value, name it that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that value in for that one. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing, new string value. Oops, I gotta copy the value first or else it's impossible to do. You can't rename it later. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and create a new string value, name it that, and its value is that value. 
So just double click on it and enter the value, press OK. All right, so that's in the FX properties subkey of the device where the properties matches the name of your audio device, uh, which it did right here, Realtek R Audio. Okay, so I added those properties and FX properties, those string values, which are these ones, one, two, and three. And this is going to magically enable enhancements tab once I reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, so I just rebooted my PC after making those register changes. Now, if I click on the sound icon, right click on it and go to sounds and then go to playback and then now go to my Realtek audio entry and click on right click on it and choose properties. Uh, as you can see, I've got this enhancements tab back just from adding those register keys and I've got my loudness equalization uh, control again, which is provided by Microsoft and it works pretty dang well. Uh, only thing I'm missing is equalizer. There used to be an equalizer button here in the old real tech stuff, but it's not here. But guess what? I'm going to enable loudness uh, equalization here from Microsoft and click on apply. And now in terms of my equalizer, I can get an equalizer. There's some software, open source equalizer. And it's this one, Equalizer APO. So I'm going to go ahead and download that and install it. And set my equalizer. And I'm going to make sure that I enable it for uh, Realtek Audio. Um, because that's my sound driver. So I'm going to click on OK. And it's going to ask me to reboot. So I guess I'm going to do that real quick. OK, so I rebooted. And I've got my new Equalizer APO apps. I'm going to click on configuration editor here. And here's where I'm going to kind of play around with my settings a little bit here. And actually, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I don't need to go that high. I just want to go a little bit high. I'm going to set my gain to zero because I don't need it to change any. And there's my equalizer settings that I've set. I'm going to go ahead and save these and exit. So that should help with my sound. And then also still I have the enhancements tab here. Um, under properties, enhancements, loudest equalization checked. Okay, and then a Nehemic should be disabled completely. And its effects are off, so everything's off from Nehemic. So I believe this is going to sound much better. Let's run the test again. <laughs> what a mess.